27 storm track weather with meteorologist Max Saparis. Still tracking a severe weather risk, but good news for now, missing out on some big hail down in Illinois. We do have an isolated smaller hail potential, but I'm not too concerned. The window for that lasting till around two this afternoon. The highest threat for the day is going to be from five this evening till 11 o'clock at night. And that could be all types of different severe weather, tornadoes, high wind gusts, and yeah, even a hail threat returning. And then tomorrow morning with the main passage of our cold front, we could track one or two more lingering stronger storms, but a toss up if that happens. So we have an isolated storm potential for your lunch hour, for your election day. We're dodging a few of these showers and rumbles of thunder into the mid afternoon. And then later this evening is when the warm front approaches, giving us our severe weather threat. Temps will actually climb with that incoming warm front, so we'll approach 60 as we get towards like midnight or so. Other than that, a pretty breezy day as this strong storm approaches. There are severe thunderstorm warnings ongoing for parts of north central Illinois, just about to reach I-39 towards Rockford. That's where hail is coming on down. In pink, there's a severe thunderstorm watch ahead of that, indicating that these are making a beeline towards the Chicago metro, mainly missing us, but there is this one cell on the northern fringe that might clip the I-43 corridor. So below Clinton, Elkhorn, just be on the lookout next couple of hours. Other than that, just tracking a couple garden variety showers and rumbles around our area. One from Columbus stretching into Watertown, down towards Whitewater and Jefferson, about to exit our area into Waukesha, and just a few more spotty little showers in Adams and out towards Richland County. So here's future track. Once that first wave gets out of here, temps will start to climb into the low 50s with a few more spotty showers or a couple brief rumbles of thunder. Then here comes the main event with that incoming warm front causing the threat for severe weather to return as we're getting towards dinner time and beyond starting to head to bed. Yeah, just be weather aware because we could be talking about a couple tornadoes spinning up some briefly high wind gusts as that passes by should taper with the threat by around midnight. Temps continue to climb into daybreak tomorrow. High temps tomorrow morning mid 60s, but you can see our shifting winds coming out of the south, pumping in the warmth, maybe triggering one or two more showers or storms. Uh, by the commute on Wednesday, and then the winds will shift out of the west, bringing in cooler, drier air, stabilizing us. Temps in the low 50s as we wrap up the afternoon. And look at those wind lines howling tomorrow. So it will be a very breezy setup for your midweek, down below freezing by early Thursday. So from Wednesday morning to Thursday morning, we're going to drop about 25 or 30 degrees with our temperatures, indicating just how strong this cold front is, how potent this setup is is for us. The severe weather potential lowest threat is in central Wisconsin, north of Madison with a level two out of five risk, a level three threat for Madison down to Janesville, west into Darlington, and just south of there towards Dubuque is a level four out of five risk. So that's the highest potential. High wind gusts, tornadoes, and hail are the big concerns not really much of a flooding threat. And this is on the heels of Friday's severe weather outbreak, bringing a dozen tornadoes in the region. Four of them were EF1 strength with 95 to 100 miles per hour winds. So yeah, let's use that as a learning experience for this one. Know where your safe place is just in case a tornado warning is issued for your area and you have to seek shelter. We go from mid 60s tomorrow down to the 40s on Thursday, 50s for Friday, dry weather, and then 60s, the warmest weekend of the year, just in time for Easter. Mm -hmm. But Ryan, that also does come with another possibility of some showers and storms by the end of Sunday. So one thing at a time, mm -hmm. we are tracking this possible severe weather outbreak still on the way this evening. And you know, John Ziegler, yep. Alexis Clemens, they'll have you covered with team coverage just in case there are any warnings, they'll pop in for that. All right, Max, absolutely. Thank you so much mm -hmm. for all those warnings.